Hey everyone, welcome to the first tutorial of Python brought to you, brought to you by IOSD UITK UK. So in this session we are going to learn about what is Python and uh, where we need to write the code, basically the IDLE of Python. Starting from the next session we are going to code uh, in the Python language. We will we'll be learning about the operators uh, and uh, the if else conditions, the uh, loops, the functions creation, the oops concept and so on. This program is intended to make sure that you guys know the basic bit basic of Python before going to ML. So this uh, program is actually for the uh, students who want to learn Python for ML. Well, we will be covering the main Python libraries like SQL and uh, NumPy and Pyplot and Matplotlib etc which are also essential in uh, machine learning so let's just get started so you can see here that python is a widely used general purpose high level programming language it was initially designed by Gudio van Dusum in 1991 and developed by python software foundation it was mainly developed for emphasis on core readability that is it's very english like language very easier to read and its syntax allows programmers to express concepts in fewer lines of code. Python is a programming language that lets you work very quickly and integrate system more efficiently. There are two major Python versions, Python 2 and Python 3, both are quite different. So these lines, these definitions are from Geeks for Geeks Python concepts and uh, according to the reports of LinkedIn, Python and uh, Stack Overflow, uh, Python is one of the most uh, important language in 21st century or in the industry 4.0 because it has its application in IoT, AI, ML, DL etc. We can uh, do web development uh, and software development, machine learning, algorithm development and much more in Python. So the basic IDLE of Python is made by the company itself and it's known as Python IDLE something that you can see here. It's a shell, you can go to file, new file, and you can write your code here. So simple code is print hello world. So that's a simple code. So let's just load save it. You can also write it here like print hello world. Sorry, print in commas, hello in quotes, hello world. Yeah, hello world. Or you can just simply write in quotes, say hello world. <clears throat> now, how to download this shell here? So, you go to python.org, then go to their download section, and you can find your download for Windows Python 3.8.0. The latest version that I am using here is Python 3.7.4 uh, but again for downloads it's available now Python 3.8.0 so I will be updating it for the next time. You can also find documentation here that docs.py.org you can find a lot of information about Python here. There are many more Python IDLE that we are we may be using in our course. Uh, another one is here and this is known as Visual Studio Code and this is probably the best editor available uh, on this planet. So here's a simple code of Python again, print hello, or you can just write it here as hello world and you can just turn it up and it shows hello world, 51 hello world. Let me just comment them up and run it again, it shows hello world now. Okay, so for this window you need to download Visual Studio Code from microsoft.com then you need to download some extensions here but we will be seeing these uh, this old stuff in uh, upcoming sessions so coming back to python.org you go to download python 3.8.0 and then you need to save the file let me just do that for you save file and uh, uh, it will take some time to download. Let's just uh, 
uh, see others uh, some other ideally that we have that like this atom from github you can also use it by downloading here then uh, this is known as the python uh, collaborate uh, google collaborator sorry so you can just search for google collab and you can open this up the python programs here are saved in your google drive linked with your google account and uh, i have uh, maintained the notes of this session here then you can uh, you will be finding all these notes notes at my uh, github account uh, in this repository uh, python dot uh, python underscore lessons link are going to be in the description now and you need to connect it to the server the cloud server of google it takes them some, some time to connect it. <coughs> okay after initialization uh, it gets connected and you can run your programs so let's just make another window here print hello world you just now know how to print your first program that's hello world we will be seeing it more in our next class and it prints hello world that's very simple so this basic is basically is not an ideally that's an uh, integrated develop net, uh, development environment this is more of a notebook we will maintain the record of the code we do here but let's just don't uh, go in that matter so this is what is more important for you so yeah let me just open python so after downloading python 3.8.0 from python.org a window of this sort will appear so you can just install now including IDLE pip and documentation create shortcut and file association and you need to tick this button add python 3.8 to path and you can just install now and it will work better make sure that it's not 32 bit here like I installed it for 32 bit uh, 64 bit like my PC is 64 bit so you can view the full list of downloads here and then you can go down here and you can actually check which release version is it for or you can actually click here for windows or unix linux mac os etc then again you can find this file here a windows x6664 executable installer or this file here embedded zip file so you need to install any of these x86 or x86 executable installer or zip file if you are using a 64 bit processor otherwise it will pose problems in uh, future when you are going for ML like if you want to install tensorflow uh, library in 32 bit uh, PC it's not possible <clears throat> okay moving uh, to the next ideally it's known as spider uh, it's brought to you by anaconda and you can also use a Jupyter notebook which is again a kind of notebook so uh, talking a bit of anaconda uh, although we will be going we have a different session on anaconda but anaconda is like a library for uh, python like a pip okay so it helps you install various libraries it's a way to do python basically like pip but we will be using pip more because pip is actually uh, easier to use than anaconda and uh, it's already supported with python you can just go to pypy pypy.org it's the package index or what we called pip package index for python is pip pip and you can find a lot of packages here uh, it's very easy to install using pip all you need to do is to write pip install and your library name that's all so after just you uh, if you run this command uh, you will uh, the library name mentioned here will get installed at your uh, python in your python uh, libraries so let's just uh, go and see where our python library will be created so after you have installed that uh, python part the uh, if after you have run that python setup you can go to programs no sorry users you can go to dell so it's for my pc it, it may be uh, very varied in your pc so you can just find it on net or something so go to app data go to local and okay, no, not local. 
yeah local okay so go to local go to packages if you go to packages you will see all the packages are installed on my pc it also includes my pip package or my conda package here like this this is my conda package and this is my pip package and this is cache memory just we need to find python here programs and python yeah so this is the address for my pc this pc osc users dell app data local programs in python and python 37 or 3.7 basically so this is python 64 bit and you can see the libs here so lib and libs contain all the libraries these are some libraries and then lib is these libraries okay. yep so that's very simple in uh, the upcoming classes we will be learning on how to install jupyter notebook and various other libraries but for now uh, you will be working on the basic ideally so this is a basic ideally you go to file you go to new file oh uh, just I, I just forgot to how to open this ideally after installation you go to your start menu you search for ideally and you open this up this window will appear okay and you go to okay so you go to file new file so if you run uh, it run it here yeah, you will be able to run only a single line code if you run it here you will be able to uh, initially write the complete code and then run it like print so print is command to show the output in python hello world it's similar to it's similar to print f uh, in the c or c++ language in c++ we have c out in uh, c we have uh, print printf and in python we have print so when you run it in python shell oh sorry run run module you need to save it now uh, let me just save it on desktop as uh, first code or one code okay okay so it, it gets saved on my desktop here and you can uh, see that it it's saved as python file.py or pyw so these two are python files okay it, it, it gets in here another way to run it is to go to your cmd that's your command prompt now uh, if you just remember that during installation I showed you a step let me just show you again that this step okay you need to add python 3.8 to your path or actually you can do it uh, afterwards also but it's recommended that you it you do it now because you need to run your python command in your command prompt so if you haven't done that step during the installation you will not be able to see uh, you will not be able to run the command in command prompt here so python and then you need to uh, add the address of the uh, where, where the file is kept basically the name of file so let me just uh, go to the address okay so i'm here now in c users dell desktop and i will be searching for python space oh sorry python and i will be searching my desktop for uh, the name it's it, 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 it's called one underscore something uh, yeah one do, underscore code dot pi so i searched using tab space and cd here means change directory so in c users del i change directory to desktop because i saved it on the desktop and in desktop then i uh, wrote as python so python command in the path variable uh, is used to run the commands that end with dot pi you just enter it up and wait yeah so it shows hello world so that's how you run it in command book so there are various ways to use python in your uh, computer and we will be learning it in the upcoming classes as you can see i have planned this labels for you in the next class we are going to learn about strings and uh, some general methods of printing and taking inputs etc i hope you guys li like this lecture uh, do go and check this link Ankure XZ slash Python lessons. Again, this video is brought to you by IOSD UATK UK. So you make sure uh, that you uh, subscribe to the channel.
to my channel as well and uh, to the iosd official channel as well you do press the bell icon for notification of the upcoming lectures so lectures will be uploaded soon uh, thank you